and that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. So, this is a commandment. Now, I'm asking you, did Christ wear fringes? I don't know. I ain't seen Christ. Oh my God. Matthew 9 and 20. Matthew 9 and 20. Watch this. He said you didn't see Christ. Okay. So what, do, you, do you believe in Christ? Christ was, yeah. What, what, what color is it? I believe in, I believe in Christ and I believe in the word. What now you saying? got a problem with the chart. No, look. Go ahead. Twelve tribes. Yes, twelve. You go ahead. Yes, sir. I always said, I'm you. I know. All praise like to I'm the most high. You all praise, praise it to the Lord. The thing of it is, is what? The scripture says. The scripture say what? The Lord gonna scatter us. Throughout the four corners of the earth. That's right, that happened. We, we are everywhere. Well, you Come on with it. How do we know who's who? You got niggas in England. You saying how do we know who's who? You got niggas in England. How do we know who's who? Guess what? Some of them go back to the Get Deuteronomy 20, Isaiah 11 11. That's right. So they still make the chart right. Look at the chart. You got Isaiah 11 and 11. 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 Isaiah 11 
She said it, she she touched the hem of his garment. What's that? Grab his pants leg or something. His pants leg. Okay, watch this. Read that. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Are you listening? I'm listening. All right, all right. Cause look, look, look what we at. We look, we getting a definition of him for you since you don't know what it is. What's, what's your name again? I know what the hell, man. What's your name again? My name is Corey. I'm sorry. Corey? Yeah. Okay, Corey, watch this. Read. Come look. Come on. Zondervan Bible Dictionary, Compact Bible Dictionary, page 224. Definition of him of a garment. Fringes or tassels on the borders of the Jewish outer gar garment. So, Corey, now, do you believe that? Where is that coming from? I don't hate come you. read it. I'm just saying. So what, what, the, the Zondervan Bible that? Dictionary. What's Levi? The Zondervan I, I Bible know, Dictionary. I, I heard about the Zondervan. I, I I so, so, what's the issue? Mr. Yeah. Corey, all that we're trying to show is, let me see the, let me see the book. Hey. Here it is, right here. Here, come here. Hold this. No, 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 no. It ain't about us. It ain't about us going back and forth. Yeah, I know he's being disrespectful. Come on, you do you go to church? I had that same question. I'm trying to show you I had that same discrepancy. Take this. Mr. Cole. Hold it. No, no, no. Come here. Look where it says right here. Come here. Where it says him of garment. Come here, Soraya. Here we go right here. Officer Soraya, where you at? He went off? Here it go right here. I think I turned the page on. Him of garment. We finna find it. It's on this page? It's there. Where is it? It, 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 I, I mean, right, I, no, 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 here, 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 here. I want you to see it. What did it say? Him of garment. You yeah. see it? What did it say? What did it say? I, yeah, I, no, I, no, no, no. What did it say? Him of garment. Look, my people. What did it say? See. What did it say? Y'all him? Him? Yeah. What did it say? What did it say? Fringes. It say what? Or tassels. Fringes or tassels. So Christ okay. wore fringes. I know you got a partner on the phone. Oh, yeah, Whoever you following, I'm not trying to get you to go one way or another. We trying to get you to see it's not about us. It's about what the words say. I had that same question. Fringes is in the New Testament. Christ wore them. Do you see? Did you see it? Yeah. So you believe? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Yeah, I believe it. That's it. It ain't on us no more. Go ahead, officer. Look, with this here. Hold on. The twelve tribes. So now you got a problem with the twelve tribes chart. You had a you had a problem with the fringes. But the thing is, it's been out here for a long time. Whoever you talking to, they don't know the Bible, obviously. Whoever you following, no. they do not know the Bible. Tell him to go ahead and come on out here and talk to it's, us. It's not them. We what? deal with people all day long. Yeah, I know. You what had I'm a problem with the fringes. What now I'm you saying? got a problem with the chart. No, look. Go ahead. Twelve tribes. Yes, twelve. We go ahead. We yes, sir. I always said I'm Judah. I know. All oh, praise like to I'm, the Most High. Look, you all, right, all praises to the Lord. But the thing of it is, is what the scripture says. The scriptures say what the Lord gonna just, just scatter us. Throughout the four corners of the earth. That's right. That we happened. Have we, we are everywhere. But how are you going to say Come on with it. To this and that and that and that? Well, how do we niggas, know who's who? You got niggas in you England. You saying how do we know you, who's yeah, who? You got niggas in England. How do we know they who's who? Not even on this truck. Guess what? Some the of them go back to the earth. Deuteronomy we 20, everywhere. Isaiah 11 11. We everywhere. That's right. So they still make the chart right. Look but, at the chart. No. You got Isaiah 11 11. It says scattered throughout Africa and abroad. So how the can, bulk how of the Israelites say, are in America. Right. Most of us are in America. Some of us, the rest of us are scattered everywhere. We showing you that you are you are about you are about contention. You don't want to know the answer. Do you want to know the answer? Do you want to know the answer? Or do you want to do you want to know the answer? Read. You don't want to know the answer. You don't want to know, Corey. We, he was trying to talk to you peacefully. He was trying to talk to you and get your attention. Read it. Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 11. Go talk to your brother on the phone. Tell him to come on out here and face some real scholars. Tell him to come out here and face some real scholars. Read. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. The remnant of his people which shall be left from Assyria. We are in, some of us in Assyria, some of us in Assyria, scattered abroad, some of Judah scattered abroad. And from Egypt. Some of us still in Egypt, some of us back still in Africa. You got the Watutsis, you got the Bantu tribes, some of us still back over there. And, and the that, bulk of us is here today. We, how can we make these claims though? Which claim, which claim, which tribe you want me to break down? America and Judah. You want me to break down America? You, Genesis you know, 49 and 12. Do, yes we do. You don't know who they are. You did it with some real Bible scholars. Go talk to your boy on the phone. Right, Tell him right, come out here. Right, quit being scared. Right, come talk to us. Right, Genesis 49. We're going to show you what's, what's going on. Take it out. 
we we not we not out here to entertain you, bro. We take this serious. You out here playing around and laughing. How do we know Judah is in America? We finna show you. If you don't know, then listen. We only well, listen. We teach. We don't we don't debate. We teach. Either you know it or you don't. Read that Genesis forty nine. You know what I want? Read Genesis chapter forty nine and verse. Start at nine. Verse nine. You gotta break down the tribe of Judah. Judah is a lion's whip. What's the characteristic of a lion? Young, strong, powerful. Judah is described as a lion. And Keep reading. When Christ come back, he Judah is a lion's up. whip. But from the prey, my son, that are gone up, he stooped up, he stooped down, he couched as a lion. So Judah got these characteristics of being a lion. During the civil rights movement, what happened with the blacks in America? We were coming together, we were pulling our resources, trying to establish our own, our own communities, our own resources. The tribe of Judah, the so-called blacks, are known for having a political power, a political movement during the 60s, during the 70s. You had who? You had Fred Hampton? Who else? You had Malcolm X? You had, had who else? Who, 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 who else? Name some. You a scholar, name some. Martin Luther King? We showing you the characteristics of the tribe of Judah. Give me verse one. Verse one, verse one. Listen, Corey, you asked us, how do we know American blacks is Judah? We're gonna prove it to you. People think we just made this up. Whoever that brother is on the phone think we just made this up. It's not this brother. Whoever it is. He don't even know the truth. Genesis 49, well, why are you talking to him? Because I'm bringing him in the truth. Right now you gotta worry about yourself. Cause it's like you don't know. He ain't even the truth. You ain't even in the truth. Right, you ain't even in the truth. Read that. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. Listen, 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 listen. You hear? And Jacob called unto his... You ain't listening. You talking to your brother on the phone. You don't want to answer, bro. You can kick rocks, Corey. You can kick rocks, bro. You want something else? Come on, read. And Jacob called unto his son and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that we shall befall you in the last days. This is how we know the tribe of Judah is, is where they are in the last days. This is how we know where the tribe of Judah is in the last days. The prophecy. Read. Hey, give me Second Peter 2 and 9. Bro, you, don't, hey, you ain't in the truth, bro. You walk around here buying stuff on the Sabbath, no fringes is on, ain't keeping no commandments, but the Most High said you're supposed to be a peculiar people. Read that, bro. First Peter chapter 2. 1 Peter 2 and 9. Look at 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Right but ye are a chosen generation. So you're supposed to be a chosen generation, brother. Read. A royal priesthood. Read. And holy nation. A holy nation. The Most High God said we're supposed to be a holy nation. Brothers ain't keeping no commandments trying to teach somebody. You can't get none of that. Give me uh, Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. Bring Man, this brother is out his mind. Y'all are bugged out here in, in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Bring it out. Ain't keeping no commandments talking about you know the Bible. You don't know nothing. Come on up, brother. Moses, uh, I'll pray for you. Moses. I'm Come on, Moses. 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 Your name may be Moses, bro. What's up, your bro? name may be Moses. Uh, That's your name is, Moses? No, I'm good, though. Okay, okay. So you're you said you're not saying that you are Moses. No, no. I'm good, though. All right, all right. So you know who you are according to the Bible? Black Psalm 111, 10. I want you I want to who read am? this. Who am? Because Psalm chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So if you fear most high God, that's the beginning of wisdom. You understand mm -hmm. that? Oh, yeah. It says a good understanding. In order for you to have a good understanding, what you got to do? Read that last part. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So if you, if you want to have a good understanding, what you got to do? You say do the commandments. Right. I didn't say that. That's the right. Bible said that. Yeah, with the Bible. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. okay. Now, you, you got to keep his commandments, right? If you want a good understanding. Yeah. I give it 1 Peter 3.15. That's what I want. 1 Corinthians 3.15. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. verse. I see you smoking that cigarette, bro. Yeah. You got a good understanding? Matter of fact, you got a pack. Where your pack at? Ooh. Where your pack of cigarettes I ain't got at? Them back. Where the pack at? I ain't got it. What I said, where you get the cigarette from? I got it from somebody else. Read that. Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So Moses, you, you're the temple of God, right? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God. Are you defiling your temple right now? I don't know. Is that cigarette killing you right now? I don't know. You don't know? 
So on that on that pack, on them cigarettes, got a surgeon general warning. If you smoke this, you could develop cancer. Will cancer kill you? Will cancer kill you? Yeah. So if you smoke a cigarette, you get cancer, what are you doing? You killing yourself, right? That's right. Yeah. So you just gonna keep killing yourself. Bring it out. Yeah, I yeah. You don't care then. Ooh. You. I ain't saying yeah. Well you you still smoking a cigarette. Yeah, it is what it is. Throw it away, bro. Just throw it away. You ain't gotta have it. You gonna get one more last puff before you throw it away. Now throw it over that way. Throw it over that way. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, come on up, to your brother, uh, Dude Around the Twenty Eight, man. Hey, I see you watching the video. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Matter of fact, want you like, subscribe, and share. I U I C Mississippi burning. Like. Subscribe and share. Even comment. VX Jews, I go get the end of each part them road. We ain't gonna stop, yeah, we ain't gonna stop. Profits are against Babylon till the bomb stop. We ain't gonna stop, yeah, we ain't gonna stop. Purple lightning, yeah, they turn the road clap, clap. We ain't gonna stop, yeah, we ain't gonna stop. Profits are against Babylon till the bomb stop. We ain't gonna stop, yeah, we ain't gonna stop. Purple lightning, yeah, they turn the road. Yeah, so long, bro. So long, bro. So, what, what, what's your real name? You say your name, not Moses. I just want to know. Ooh. <laughs> Uber? Ooh. What's your name? Your, your real name? Marlo. Marlo. Okay, Marlo. Brother Marlo. Marlo. I'm Malachi. Marlo? Marlo? Yeah. Marlo. Okay. And what's your name, brother? Khalid. Khalid. Marlo and Khalid. So, do you know that you're an Israelite? Uh -huh. You ever heard of Israelite before? Yeah, I heard. Okay, let's, let's go to it. The round 28. Hey, this for you too, uh, Khalid. Khalid, this for you too. Listen up, read that. We'll start at 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So right now, Moses is telling the Israelites, if you don't hearken, what hearken mean, Khalif? Listen. Listen. It means listen. So if you don't listen, so right now, that means we all should be listening. So hearken in and listen. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Khalif, stay focused, bro. Khalif, stay focused. Khalif, I'm talking to you, bro. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. I guess, hold on. Hey, they ain't going to take long. Okay. They ain't going to be there. They ain't going to take long. Watch this. So, so far, who is Moses talking to? Do you know? Israelites. And, and what did he tell them? See if you're paying attention. Marlo. I can't remember. I'm going to read again for you, dear Marlo. This is for you, bro. But it's a kind of pass. If thou would not, hearken it to the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Now, so it says if you don't hearken and do God's commandments, you're going to put curses on them, right? Yeah, man. So what's a curse? Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing, Marlo? Bad. Bad thing, right? Yeah. So you say you're going to a funeral, right? Yeah. That's that's a bad thing, right? right? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So what we're doing right now is trying to prevent those from happening. Bring it up. Yeah, man. This is this is to prevent all these all these man, it's right. a funeral every single Sabbath. That's oh, right. yeah. We're right. trying to prevent that by teaching the word of God. Right. So it says if you don't hearken and do God's commandments, that God will put curses on us. Bring so let's see what cur curses God put upon us. Bring Verse 16, up. read. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall I be in the city. What's one of the curses in, in, in Hattiesburg, Mississippi? Death. That's a curse in the city. Bring it out. It's death all the time in Hattiesburg. That's a curse in the city. Robbing, stealing, fornication, adultery, uncertain people, dope, dope dealing, dope smoking. Right. All that's cursed in the city. Right. That ain't good things. All that's bad things going on in the city. So God said we'll be what? What is? Curse shall thou be in the city. God said that's a curse. What is it? Huh? What is it? What is it? What else is it? What else is it? Read on, watch this. What's going on? And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall thou be in the field. Yeah. So look, look at this. What was going on about four hundred years ago? Right here. What was going on? I like that. We got sold. You got huh? Lions on we got that. sold, and when we were sold, what were we doing? Yeah. In, 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 in what? In what kind of field? In the field. Right? A cotton field, right? Yeah. Right here in Mississippi. Cotton fields. In the we field. was cursed in the field. We had to work 
From the sun up to sundown, right? Bring it up. Oh, yeah. What else? 48, 48, verse 48, watch this. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. He said, so because we're not keeping God's commandments, you're going to serve your enemies. How? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh -huh, watch this. And hunger. And hunger. Your food you got to go get. Mm -hmm. Who do you get the food from? The stove. The stove. Who owns the stove? Bring it up. The white, the white man, right? Right. So, the so-called white, because he ain't white, he red. Right. But the so-called white man owned the store, right? Right. So, you got to get for food, right? Read. Right. And hunger and, and thirst. And thirst. Your drink, your water, your Gatorade. Where you get it from? Bring it up. Where white you get it from? Man. White man, right? But God called him what? Let me see you pay attention. What God called him? Stop on top again. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. What God called him? Enemy. Enemies, right? Yeah. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh -huh, watch this. And hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. Everything you want. Like you say you want to a funeral right now, right? Oh yeah. That person had to go get a had to somebody had, had to go get a death certificate for that person to be dead, right? Right. right. Oh, yeah. So a death certificate. Who, who, they, who they get the death, the death certificate from? White man. Right. And when you have a child, you gotta get a what? A birth certificate. Right. All oh, they come from who? But what God called them? Enemies. Enemies. Right. Read on. Watch this. And he. And he. That same enemy. But pay attention. That same enemy. Read. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Yeah, we don't need. You see that? You see that? Yeah. What's that right now? Yeah. You seen that before, right? You seen you seen Django yeah. at the very beginning. They had it on their neck. Roots, Root too, yeah. Roots, where you slay all that stuff, right? Yeah. So this is a this is facts, right? Yeah. This is this is history. It's our it's history. It's going on now. Right. But watch this. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So he said the yoke will be on our neck until we are destroyed. So right now, do we have yokes on on our neck? Break it up. Physically? Yes, sir. Do we have your yokes around our necks physically today? We don't. Up. we don't, right? No. So it means we've been destroyed. Right. How right. though? We've been destroyed mentally. Right. Yeah. So the so-called white man or the enemy destroyed us so bad that now we think it's okay to just walk around smoking, smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, not knowing who we are. Cause you say you was a black man, right? But your pants black. Yeah. Your pants black. Your skin ain't black. Who sold us? Who sold us? Yeah. Who sold us? Let's find out who sold us. Let's go to uh, Joel. Let's find out. Let's, let's see who sold us. Go to Joel three. Let's let's find out. That's a good question. Bring who it out. Sold us. So somebody somebody had to have us to sell to the white man, right? That's your mindset, right? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Joel three. Watch this. Joel chapter three and verse verse one. For behold. No. Four. Verse four. Yay! And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? So Tyree and Zidon, those are two African nations. Yeah. Tyree and Zidon are two African nations. Now, you may say they black. No, it's a difference between Africans and us. So watch this. Read again. Yay! And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree? Remember, I started three. And they have cast lots for my people. So they have cast lots. Cash lots means what? Do you know what cash lots mean? Uh, well, they mean optioned. Right. So, so they cash lot. So God said, do you people cash lots for his people reap? And have given a boy for an harlot. They said, he given a boy. No, hold on, I'm trying to get your answer. You said, who sold us? Don't yeah. leave till you get the answer, bro. If you get this, you can leave. That's a deal? That's a deal, right? Come on up, brother. Come on, join in. So he, he asked the question, who sold us? I'm yeah. giving him the answer. Watch this. He said, he said black man. I'm going to show him that it's not black, it's African, read. And they have cast lots for my people, uh -huh. and have given a boy for an harlot. So they gave a boy for a harlot. So you, you ever heard, you ever seen, uh, it, it was a Hello? show I watched, I can't remember the name of it, but they was offering up us for just wine. Mm. Right? Yo. But when they sold us, they, they, they had us as uh, boy slaves. Meaning the, the, the so-called white man used the little boys for toys. If you know what I mean. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that's what it said. Watch it read. And they have cast lots for my people. And, and have given a boy for an harlot. They given a boy for a harlot. Yeah. And, uh, or another term, you ever heard of Mandingo? 
No, yeah. They turn right there the same thing. They're giving a boy for a harlot. Read it. And sold a girl for wine. And sold the women for wine. They traded our women for just wine. Read. That they might drink. Uh -huh. Yay! And what have you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidane? So these the ones God talking about right here. He said, what have, you, what have to you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidane? Like I said, those are two African nations, read. And all the coast of Palestine. Uh-oh, in Palestine. What Palestine? Who, who in Palestine? Who are the Palestinians? Bring it up. Who are the Palestinians? The Jews or whatever? No, the so-called Arabs. Okay, Arabs. They're over there in that, that land right now. They're the Palestines, read. Will ye re render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? So he said, will you, will you render me a recompense? Meaning, will, will y'all repay me for what y'all did to my people? That, that's what God asking them right now. So the two people he's talking to is the Africans and the Palestinians, right? Yeah, you with me, right? You with me, Carlos? Yeah. Wait, wait read on. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. He said, you took my silver and my gold. God's silver and gold is the Israelites. Right. That's us. We are God's silver and gold. Right? Read. The children also of Judah. Uh-huh. And the children of Jerusalem. So the children of Judah and children of Jerusalem, that's the whole tribe, all the tribes. Watch what God said they did. Watch this. Have ye sold unto, your, unto the Greeks? God said they did sold, hold, sold us to who? Greasy. The Greeks. Who are the Greeks? Oh, the Greeks. Who are the Greeks? Italy. Huh? Italy? The Greeks. Yeah. The Europeans. Yeah. The so-called white man. That's right. That's who the Arabs and the Africans sold us to. Right. So like, like you said, you said, yeah, black folks sold us. No, dark skinned people sold us. Because they call us black. They don't call Palestinians black. Oh. They don't call Africans black. Oh, they got they real, but they dark skin though. They got they real nationality. Yeah, yeah they but we got ours taken from us. They, they call us Afro American, African American, Negro, niggas, blacks. Give me that into the rummy. We, we got all those different names. We can't do it. He got he got dropped me off. Hey, but did you get your answer? Oh no, yeah, I, I like it. All right, so we'll, we'll before back. you leave. What is your nationality? Because remember, I just said they gave us all these different nationalities. So if, if we not black, if we not African American, so we, really we not Negro. Yes, we Israelites. That's right. right. Yes. We yes. Israelites. Yes. That's your nationality. Yes. Remember yes. that. Yes. Remember that. Yes. All right. All right. Let me get uh, the first one. The three sixteen. Looking for my brother right here, uh, Khalid. Khalid. This one, you, Khalid. 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 My boy, you got knowledge, bro. You got a whole lot of knowledge. I'm going to give you some more knowledge real quick. All right, you ready for it? You ready for it? Give me that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. It's for you. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? God said, Khalid, you the temple of God. Your body is his temple. Read. And that the, the spirit of God dwelleth in you. And God's spirit is trying to dwell in you, Khalid. It's trying to. Watch this. Watch what's keeping it, watch what's keeping it from, from dwelling in him. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. Right now, Khalif, are you defiling God's temple? Yeah, man. You are. So you admit it. Yeah. Read. He says, so if, I'm any sorry, man, God. if any man defile the temple of God, read. Please. Him please. shall God destroy. Do you want God to destroy you, Khalif? Yeah. Who want that? Do you, I'm asking you, do you want it? Fuck no. Yeah. Okay, then. So listen in. Tune in right quick. It says, if any man defile the temple of God, what you doing right now? What, what God going to do? Him shall God destroy. God said he's going to destroy that man. I'm not with man. Huh? You a man, all right? I'm a physical form. Right, you a physical form. But so right now, your physical form as a man, you defiling God's temple. And God said if any man, which you are in physical form, defile his temple that you are, he's going to destroy you. Defile your temple by smoking tobacco stuff. Yes, just put anything un unclean in your body. Put anything unclean in your body. In your body, that's 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 destroying your temple. Even the food you eat, do you eat pork? I should have got a hemp cigar. Now pork is do very you, nasty. Do you eat shrimp? That's very nasty. Do you eat lobsters? That's very nasty. Do you eat catfish? That's very nasty. So you wouldn't put none of that in your body, but you put smoke in your body. You I mean, choose smoke. I eat it. You eat what? Those meats. 
pork. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Besides hold on. pork, hold no on. pork, no pork. So you, so you, you still eat those things you said is nasty. I was asking you, was it nasty? Oh, oh, it's like you were telling me. Nah. Of course they nasty. They nasty. Pork nasty. Shrimp nasty. Lobster nasty. Catfish. All that's unlawful. You eat it? No. Okay. I don't. I don't smoke neither. You are a vegetarian? No, I don't, I'm not a vegetarian. But I don't eat unclean food. Let's get that in, in Leviticus. Let me show you. Bring it out, huh? But do you do you believe right now that you are defiling your temple by smoking that weed? Yeah, I'm on. Okay, but you know, at one point, I used to do the same thing. I used to smoke weed. And you, you want to know what stopped you from smoking weed? That scripture right there is read to you. Because I was scared that God was going to kill me. No, I was scared that God was going to kill me for smoking weed. I had fear of God. Do you have fear of God? Yeah, I'm on. So when you gonna stop? The Leviticus? No, no, no. First Corinthians. I said it, it said that if any man defy his temple, God gonna destroy him. God, I mean, God will kill you. God will kill you, or he'll give you lung cancer. Right. Anything. Right. Matter of fact, you you go buy the wrong weed from the wrong person, and you'll be laced forever. I know, I know, a brother. He was he was valedictorian of his high school graduate graduating class. And three years later, he got the wrong dope. Now he ride around on the bike, crazy. Damn. He ride around crazy on a bike every day. I've no job. I've been through that phase. I was laced before. Okay, it, 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 it didn't phase you. You you been laced. It phased. It, it phased. It phased. But you still it smoking weed. It phased. No, it was it was a different drug they laced me with. It wasn't weed. But somebody can lace the weed with that same drug. That's why I don't. But do you anything. you don't care though, right? You don't care. You just oh I ain't got laced yet. I ain't got laced again yet. I'm gonna keep smoking this weed. I ain't got laced again yet. You got a so point. I'm gonna keep smoking it. You got a point. Yeah, right. give me that in uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Bring it up. Watch this. Th this is you right now. This is currently you. Khalid, my brother. I love you, brother. That's why I'm, go that's why I'm teaching you this. Because I love you. I'm gonna show you what you're doing right now. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Watch this. This is you. Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11. Bring it up. Watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work. Is not executed speedily. So he says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, right? Meaning it, it, it don't come as soon as you do it. Like, okay, I just smoked, I just smoked the blunt, and that happened to me. I'm cool, right? That's the mindset, right? So read again. Watch this. Because sentence against an evil work is. It says sentence against an evil work. Read. Is not executed speedily. It ain't executed speedily, right? That mean it don't happen as soon as you do it, right, Khalid? You right. pay attention. Right. Watch this. Read on. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So because it ain't happening right now, it's setting us to do evil. It's to keep doing evil. Keep doing evil. We know it's bad, but we just keep doing it because ain't nothing happening yet. That, that's what the Bible is saying. So right now, that's your mindset. For the nation. nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.